everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing very well today. So I'm very sorry that it's been a while since I posted. I was kind of busy last week. We had some family come in from out of town and stayed with us. And so last week I was just really busy with cleaning the house and making sure that everything was ready, um, you know, in time for them to come over and stay a couple of days with us. So I'm sorry, but um, I definitely needed that time just to kind of make sure that everything was ready for them. Um, and I'm very excited to continue filming some new videos for you guys. Um, before we get started, I do have a couple of updates. Um, so firstly, as I'm sure you guys can probably tell, I did change my YouTube channel name. Um, so it is now Sabrina's Beauty Scene. Um, I'm really excited about the name. It just kind of... Um, you know, I just kind of thought of it one day and I think I'm going to go ahead and just keep that name for a while and just see how I like it. And if I do like it, I'll just go ahead and keep it. Um, but bear with me if I do end up changing it again. But so far I'm liking it and I've gotten a little bit of feedback from you guys as well. So thanks for that. Another update that I have that some of you guys probably may have not even realized or noticed, but um, I'm not doing the Partners in Cream project anymore. Um, it's just something that I'm not really inspired to do at this point. Um, I'm not really interested in like project panning or doing usage style projects, at least right now. I'm kind of considering doing the 12 Pans of Christmas projects that I did last year. I had a lot of fun with that one, but the only issue that I'm having with any type of project right now is because I'm not working, I'm not wearing makeup every day like I usually do. And on top of that, when I am doing my makeup, I kind of just want to go into my makeup collection and reach for what I'm feeling like reaching for that day. Um, so I'm sorry if I disappointed any of you guys. And um, again, if you were maybe um, following along with that Partners in Cream project, I maybe I'll do it in the future. I'm not sure, but um, I just felt like that was best for me and my channel to just no longer do that. So um, enough of the updates. Let's go ahead and get started. So today's video, um, it's still fall. So I feel like I can still upload this video, but this is going to be some of the best fall makeup products that are not eyeshadow palettes. I've actually already done my favorite fall eyeshadow palettes um, video. I will link that in the description box. But today is going to be a lot about blushes and lip products. So I feel like you can only do so much um, with, you know, color as far as seasons. Um, obviously, you know, like foundation, you can't really have a foundation that's best in the fall or whatever. I mean, I guess you could if your skin type varies, but mainly the thing I like to play around with the most during the different seasons of the year are blushes and lip products and of course eyeshadow but of course I've already filmed that video so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with blushes I have a lot a lot of blushes and a lot of lip products to talk about of course I would not be me if I didn't have a ton of blushes to talk about so I do have some cream blushes and let's start with those. So the first thing that I ever think about are the Flower Beauty blush bombs. The Flower Beauty brand offers so many beautiful shades. I have the shades Cinnamon, which is a longtime favorite of mine. And then they recently released two new shades and one of them in the shade Spiced is so beautiful and I think is perfect for fall. So here's what these two looks like. The this one is cinnamon this one is spiced and honestly i just think that these are so perfect for fall especially the shade cinnamon cinnamon was actually in my finish five by halloween project last year and so i used a lot of cinnamon this is a newer one because i accidentally decluttered the other one but um, these are so stunning on the skin and these shades are perfect for fall in my opinion and then another drugstore cream blush is this one from NYX. This is the NYX Sweet Cheeks Soft Cheek Tint Blush Mousse in the, say, in the shade Nude Tood. And if you can't tell, as far as like blushes go, I feel like for the fall and winter, for me specifically, I like to go in with blushes that are a little bit more... I don't want to say muted, but a little bit more neutral. Um, they're not as bright. They're not as colorful as probably something that I would reach for during the summer or during the spring. And so I like to go in with more neutral colors, maybe a little bit more deeper colors on the cheeks. And this one is a perfect shade for that. And it's a really nice formula as well. So that was again in the shade Nude Tude. All right, so here are the different shades. So this is Flower Beauty Spice. This is Flower Beauty Cinnamon. And this is Nude Tude 
from NYX. Really, really beautiful fall shades in my opinion. And I love that they're still kind of neutral. So you can definitely do like a neutral eye look. Even if you want to do a more like vampy eye look, a little bit something more dramatic, I feel like these blushes will still complement your eye look very well. So these three are perfect for this time of year. And then one more affordable one. And it's funny because whenever these blushes came out and I picked one up, I wasn't super impressed with them. But I think it was because um, it's such a small component, these e.l.f. putty blushes. Um, it's really hard to kind of get your brush in here. But I've actually tried these blushes with the e.l.f. putty primer applicator. And this works really well for these blushes. So the blush shade that I recently picked up was the shade Bali. And this is a really, really nice color for fall. It's beautiful. It's more of like a red toned blush. But the beauty of this one is that it's still neutral. So here's what that shade looks like. It's still neutral. Um, I still feel like you can go in with a really beautiful like bronzy eye look and this Bali shade will complement it so well. Um, so while this blush formula, this cream blush formula is not my favorite, I still think it's a really nice option to pick up from the drugstore and the shades that they offer in this formula are really nice as well. So those are all of the more affordable cream blushes and then I have just one more cream blush that I wanted to talk about. This is from Jacqueline Cosmetics and I have this shade. So this is their cream to powder blush stick and I have the shade overruled. And this is a really, really nice blush formula. Mine's kind of messy, but this is what this one looks like. The packaging is very, very nice. And this is a nice blush formula. It really, really is. And here is the shade overruled perfect for fall you kind of see the theme that i'm going with they're more like neutral shades but they have a little bit more depth to them which i love during the fall i just love experimenting with more like vampy colors more deeper colors because i don't know why that is i guess maybe because um I don't know. I never understood that, like why we wear like more makeup during the fall, I feel like, but still I love this shade from Jacqueline Cosmetics and the blush formula is really nice as well. Now I have some powder blushes to talk about. I only have a few because um, I feel like blush is, at least powder blush is pretty versatile. Like you can go in with any blush if you want. You can use pinky blushes still in the fall and the winter, but again, I have a couple of options that are a little bit more deeper, a little bit more vampy. First off, this one from Bare Minerals. I'm pretty sure this one is still available. This is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Powder Blush in the shade But First Coffee. Such a stunning blush shade. And this is stunning on deeper skin tones. So if you have like a medium to deep skin tone, it would be absolutely stunning on you. I use this on my cousin whenever she had come over and she does have deeper skin than me and it was absolutely stunning on her. But this is still something that I think works really well even for my skin tone. Um, of course, I just go in with a little bit of a lighter hand. And then this one is a little bit similar. It's from ColourPop. It's their Super Shock Cheek in the shade Cheerio. And this is really, really beautiful. And it does have a little bit of like a shine to it, a little bit of shimmer to it, but it's so, so stunning. And this formula, the super, the super shock cheeks from ColourPop last really, really well on the cheeks throughout the day. And then the final blush that I wanted to talk about is another drugstore one. And this one is in the older packaging from Wet n Wild, but I still, I know for sure that they still have this shade. This is the shade Mellow Wine, and it's one of the Wet n Wild Color Icon blushes. This is just a perfect shade for fall. Um, it's definitely a nude, but it's more, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it is stunning. So here's what the shade looks like. Hopefully you can see that okay. It's just a little bit of a deeper rosy nude. And I think, again, it complements so many different um, eyeshadow looks and things like that. I wanted to go ahead and share with you the swatches for the Bare Minerals and the ColourPop. This is the ColourPop blush. This is the Bare Minerals one. You can see they're more like berry toned blushes, but they're still neutral. Not so much the ColourPop one. The ColourPop one definitely would probably look better with a like berry toned eye look, 
but the bare minerals one is stunning again with any type of neutral look so those three powder blushes are so beautiful and i'm so glad that two of them are more affordable so now let's get into lip products so i have liquid lipsticks two bullet lipsticks so two like regular lipsticks and then a couple of glosses to recommend for you guys so firstly let's start with the bullet lipsticks this is such an oldie but the shade is absolutely stunning this is from wet n wild and it's one of their i don't even know the name of it but it's just one of their matte lipsticks i do have the older packaging but i know that they have this shade it's just in a um, like in their updated packaging and this is the shade mocha licious and you guys can you think of a more perfect lip color here is what that shade looks like it is so so beautiful oh my gosh i definitely need to gravitate towards this one more so but this is stunning i love it the formula is not the greatest i'm not gonna lie wet and wild i wish that they would come out with a more creamy matte lipstick something that's a little bit more comfortable on the lips but the shade mochalicious mochalicious is just so beautiful that i feel like i would still recommend it even for um, even if it's a little bit more drying, but it's very affordable. I mean, I think these lipsticks are only like $2. Now, this one from e.l.f., this is one of the, I don't know what the actual name of these lipsticks are called, but it's the e.l.f. lipsticks in like the sheer or clear like plastic packaging. I have the shade Cider, and even the name is so perfect for fall. Here is what this one looks like. And this is a really, really beautiful shade. So here is what the shade Cider looks like right there. Stunning. It's more of like an orangey red. And those are honestly some of my favorites to wear during the fall. It kind of reminds me of like a gingerbread kind of color. And I just, I love these shades for fall. And then another e.l.f. one. I'm telling you, e.l.f. offers a lot of beautiful fall lipsticks. This is one of the e.l.f. Sheer Slick lipsticks. And it's in the shade Golden Pear. I want to say that this is still available at Target um, but these are these are a very comfortable formula but the shade golden pear is perfect for fall I'm so glad that they came out with this one last year here is what golden pear looks like it's definitely more of like a balmy type lipstick but it's still so stunning and I just I recommend this shade so much I wore this one so much last fall um, it was it was something that I was always reaching for and it is so comfortable as well on the lips that it's something that you just want to keep reaching for through your um from your collection now let's do some i want to do gloss no let's do liquid lipsticks so liquid lipsticks i have a lot from too faced i actually think all of them are from too faced um there's obviously so many great liquid lipsticks out there but i feel like these melted matte lipsticks from Too Faced, especially the more like holiday fall themed ones are so perfect for this time of year. My ultimate favorite is Pumpkin Spice from them. Here is what this one looks like. Of course, the packaging is so, so beautiful. Um, but I also have Gingerbread Girl, which is this one, such cute packaging. And then I have Gingerbread Man, and these, I don't know if they have to come out with them every year, but I actually picked up Gingerbread Man from the cosmetic company outlet store um, and was able to get this for a pretty decent price. And then Gingerbread Girl, a lot of these you may have within your collection because like the gingerbread ones are super popular from Too Faced. So if you have them, pull them out. But this is Gingerbread Girl. It's definitely more of like an orange brownie color, a um, little bit more red than Gingerbread Man. And then the one that I actually released this year that is so stunning. And it's funny because I was actually applying this one day and my husband saw me and he's like, that's a really pretty lip color. And I was like, I know, right? So this is the shade Cinnamon Bun. And this came out with their Cinnamon Swirl Palette. So let me go ahead and do swatches of these um, so that you can see them. I just, I love this Too Faced um, liquid lipstick formula i think that it is so good it's like a little bit drying but i don't see that it's i don't think it's too drying i think that i can still wear it just fine it's pretty long wearing i've worn it underneath the mask and it was fine um so i don't have any issues with these 
but I am like a liquid, a liquid lipstick lover. Like I still love liquid lipsticks. Okay, so let me show you the ones that I have. So this one here is Pumpkin Spice. The next one is Gingerbread Man. This one is Gingerbread Girl. And then the final one is Cinnamon cinnamon Roll. So again, they're just so perfect. Oh, I just love them so much. Um, and I highly, highly recommend these. Look at my hand. <laughs> um, but the shade Cinnamon Roll or Cinnamon Bun rather, you can still pick this one up. So I do recommend these. And then actually my cosmetic company store had pumpkin spice there. And I brought, I picked up recently a full size because I only have this many and I've had it already, I think for like three years. So I didn't want to not have it in my collection. So I picked up the full size. Now we're going to get into some lip gloss and then we are done. <laughs> There's so much to talk about. So Firstly, the Buxom lip glosses are so perfect. They come out with beautiful fall themed shades. The one that I picked up this year is Pumpkin Chai Latte. And here is what this one looks like. It's a little bit of a deeper nude gloss. And then we have the shade from last year, Pumpkin Spice Latte. This one is definitely my favorite. I honestly am considering like, you know, maybe gifting this one to someone, the one that I got this year, because I'm just not super impressed with this one as much as Pumpkin Spice Latte from last year, but they still have the fall themed ones from this year at Ulta, so I do recommend those. And again, they are scented, they smell really nice. So let me go ahead and swatch these for you. So this is Pumpkin Chai Latte, and this is the one that should still be available. Um, and then the other one is pumpkin spice latte. And this one is just my ultimate favorite. Like I just love this one so much. So here is pumpkin chai latte. And then this is pumpkin spice latte. Beautiful, beautiful shades. All right. And then another lip gloss sticking with like higher end. The Dose of Colors lip glosses are so stunning and I feel like they're very um, underrated. They're very, very good, but they are not really spoken about very much on YouTube. The only unfortunate thing about Dose of Colors is that you can honestly only purchase Dose of Colors on the actual website of the brand. So they're no longer at Ulta. But I will say, if you have been wanting to try some things from Dose of Colors, wait until Black Friday. They, us they usually have a killer Black Friday sale. Like I've gotten some of these lip glosses for like 10 bucks. But the shade That's Cool from Dose of Colors is a perfect cool toned lip gloss. And it's a little bit deeper of a lip gloss, so that's why I definitely recommend it in the fall and winter. But it complements so many cool toned looks. It's just, uh, it is so beautiful. Love, love, love this one. And then from Persona Cosmetics, which Persona you can purchase at Ulta, this is the lip gloss in the shade Hibiscus. So here's what this one looks like. Looks very intimidating in the um, actual like component, but it's a little bit more sheer, but it still looks like it's red on the lips. So this is Hibiscus right here. It's so, so beautiful. I just, I love these. I love, love, love. So, so fun. And I love that because it's a red, like it still looks like a statement lip color, but it's a lot more um, like approachable and a lot more comfortable because it's a lip gloss. And then the final product and the final lip gloss is from e.l.f. And this mint melt collection is still available at most Walmarts. And the shade Chocolate Chip is such a beautiful, beautiful shade for fall. It's more of like a brown shade. And I just think it is so, so beautiful. Um, and again, brown nudes are like perfect for fall. So I do recommend that one. And like I said, the Mint Melt Collection from e.l.f. is still available at most Walmarts. The e.l.f. one, I will say, is plumping for sure. So if you are not into that, then maybe stay away from these as well as the Buxom ones. The Buxom ones are not too bad, but I did notice the e.l.f. one lingered a little bit longer and it did kind of burn a little bit, but I do enjoy the shade. So those are all of the fall makeup products that I think are perfect for this time of year. I had a lot of blushes to recommend and a lot of lip products. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I really hope that you would give this video a thumbs up and I would also love for you to subscribe and be a part of my 
YouTube channel family. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will go ahead and see you in my next video. Bye!